Hey what's up guys this is Saurav here from Take Care and welcome back to our channel and today I will be uh, showing you the flying OS and I will show you the installation procedure as well because that is important. First you have to go to GWRP recovery in order to do that uh, press the power, uh, volume up plus power button for a few seconds and it will directly boot to uh, TWRP recovery. And uh, in that uh, in TWRP recovery first we have to wipe a lot of things Dalvik system data and cache and just wipe these four things don't wipe internal storage a lot of people do that don't just don't just these four things will do the work and now we have to go to the installation now uh, keep in mind that uh, there first you have to install the lineage OS then you have to install uh, the flyme so yes you can see I'm installing the lineage 13.0 all the links all the thread links will be in the link down below in the description make sure to check that and uh, first let it install the lineage OS then we will flash the uh, Mido. I'm sorry, the flying OS. I'm sorry, sorry, so sorry. It's been fifth time that I'm voice, voicing over this whole thing and I'm making mistakes a lot. Now coming to the flying OS. Well, uh, the flying OS for Redmi Note 4 Mido uh, is actually based on Marshmallow. You're not gonna get no good. And more than that, uh, there are a few bugs that I will tell you when the ROM gets booted up. The ROM is fluid. It's fluid AF. But the thing is, there is no Volte E support. Neither, uh, not only Volte E support, there is no Volte E support, that's true. More than that, it doesn't even support both the sims. I will show you everything in the uh, in the ROMs, uh, when the ROMs get booted up. Anyways, guys, if you love our videos, make sure to do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get instant notifications, and do hit the like button. It really helps us a lot. Do share with your friends as well. Salamat Detang. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> I don't know what, what language it is. My preferable language will be English India and then choosing uh, the India as the country and uh, all the region. I know it's a bit white. I'm sorry for that. And then uh, we have to choose the Wi Fi. Well, uh, surprisingly, it does support both the Wi Fi bands. Uh, I'm using the 5 gigahertz band. And uh, let's just hope when it gets booted up, it's still uh, connecting to Wi Fi. Yes, it's done. Going to next and login for storage security. Now uh, it's actually from Meizu, so it's asking for some Meizu account or like that. I'm not gonna go to that uh, thing. Choosing a theme, I'm not gonna go for the pink one. Don't ex expect me to do that. Uh, update service disabled, user experience improvement disabled, and uh, well, six pretty and smart, secure, and easy to use. Oh, no, 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 not again brand new design that's great a lot of things that normally happens when you uh, install a rom i could have uh, you know could have uh, deleted these clips but i thought of implementing that so that i can consume more of your time <laughs> just kidding a uh, nice apps okay talking about apps uh, there are few uh, chinese pre-installed apps which are completely in chinese which i don't understand so i thought of uninstalling them you can do that by rooting the rom and using some uninstaller that actually needs root access to uninstall system apps or uh, so you have to uh, do that by yourself there is no provision of uninstalling those app by just you know tapping on them and getting the uninstall option you have to root you have to root or you have some apps that gets the root you know privilege i don't know what's written in chinese but i disabled that somehow anyways it's not showing anymore uh, you can see a lot of uh, options right here in the drop down menu a uh, lot of options 15 to be exact and that's uh, those are customizable as well settings needs to net network access to get okay give it whatever it actually needs at least they are in english okay lowering down the brightness i hope it is much more visible and much more understandable right now about phone section okay it's redmi note 4x actually it was made for redmi note 4x i don't know ima numbers are working well without any issue uh, now device name is redmi note 4x but I'm currently using the Redmi Note 4, the Mido, this uh, Snapdragon 625 edition. No Redmi Note 4X. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, checking version information. I don't know whatever they're doing. Someone ported this ROM. I will provide you all the links in the description box below. And I don't think I will be coming up with the Hindi version of this. I'm so sorry. Well, talking about camera, it's excellent. Really, guys, the camera is excellent. Uh, not only in details in everything the camera came out to be excellent the only bug is uh, it doesn't support volte more than that it doesn't support dual sims at all i will show you that 
so uh, you have to use one sim only and you have to use airtel apart from geo in india at least so any uh, use any uh, sim you want apart from geo and uh, also apart from uh, uh, and don't use two two sims sorry so that's the reason and i felt that uh, the camera output is really great really really great the rom is fluid af really the rom is very fluid the video works pretty fine i didn't face any issue a bit more zoomed in though but still it does the work without any issue and uh, focusing was a bit uh, you know sometimes the focusing was not as fast as i thought it would be but it was okay at uh, you know most of the time and uh, i hope that the video clip has been uh, here i believe okay here is a video clip video needs access to internet what not okay you can see the video clip it came out to be good could have been a bit more bright and could have been less zoomed in i believe so but apart from that it is good it is just great uh, in most of the cases now i mostly capture our uh, videos in uh, artificial lighting in case of uh, you know in case of the uh, daylight it won't be an issue i'm inserting both of my sims one of airtel one of geo and let's see what happens geo on this sim slot 2 okay just uh, wait for a minute and it is initializing sorry for the focus though it's in, it is initializing the sims and you can see that it is only showing one sim right up top and uh, that's not that's not good sim slot one it is detecting both the sims but it is only taking one sim right now and i've tried it multiple times in multiple ways it is not detecting both the sims neither it supports volti i mean if you know any trick any patches uh, do let me know via the comment section below i am waiting for your response i tried everything guys i really tried hard but it is not working at all it is uh, taking only one sim that is on the sim slot one it does not take sim slot two although it's, it detects the sim slot two but it does not si take sim slot two in normal usage let's try dialer let's tr try the sim 2 sim 1 works well without any issue sim 1 works pretty fine uh, sim 2 doesn't work i tried to call 198 from sim 2 it does not work at all uh, and that's really disappointing i believe with further updates if developers thinks to update it uh, upgrade it uh, even more i believe with further updates it will be solved but as of now it's not working i mean both the sims no option to delete uh, pre-install apps we have to root it for further you know further works so this is all for today guys i hope you love this video hold it up if you liked it vote it down if you disliked it do subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon for more videos and stay awesome stay subscribed bye bye now